Welcome back to Gupta and Sen's YouTube channel, Fabulous Homes for Sale. I'm your host Ayush and today we are out here in Kaf Parade, Sobo. And the property that I have the pleasure of hosting for you today is a huge 4 BHK apartment, carpet area of 2800 square feet. And it's located inside this majestic Arts Deco building that's from the 1930s. So it's quite practically 100 years old. Let's go check out the apartment. On to the second floor of this building, the first thing that we see is a common access balcony. Now, this is something that you don't see usually these days. This is not one of those window in the staircase kind of a thing. This is a charming little cute balcony where you can just hang out with a cup of tea during sunset and get a view out the front of the building. It's a nice touch. Now, let's check out the house. Entering the place, the first thing that we are greeted by is this absolutely massive living space. And it's also very nicely done up actually, it's all vintage furniture of course because this is, let's not forget, an art deco property and all the theme of the furniture keeps up with it. Let's check out the seating lounge. It's got a seating capacity of 7 folks at any given time. Nice comfy little sofas. To my left is the wraparound balcony which we're going to be taking a look at in a bit. I also like the colour scheme that is used in this interior. It's very subtle. Now, let's check out the rest of the living space. Here we are in the dining area. A solid wood dining table with a seating capacity of 8, so your family can hang out in comfort. We have a crockery cabinet over here, featuring some vintage crockery. On to this side, we have windows because of course we're going to light up the whole room because it's a big space and also it's going to create a cross piece between the wraparound balcony and this side of the room as well. Some more crockery and cabinets and over here is an antique desk again featuring antique wood. Now allow me to introduce you to the wraparound balcony. <clears throat> the wraparound balcony. It's a good place to be. It's a long and narrow balcony and the view out here is pretty good because we have all this greenery on premises and the view from this balcony directly overlooks all of it. And right there across the road is the new upcoming Cuff Parade metro station that's going to be literally a stone's throw away from your place which is always good. The rest of the balcony is pretty good as well. Off to my left over here we have access to the first of the four bedrooms on this property. Pretty nice. Let's check out the rest of the place. As I mentioned before, this is a 4 BHK unit. So let's go ahead and check out the first of the four bedrooms. Follow me. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Bedroom number one. This is a big bedroom, but the owner has taken the liberty to convert this bedroom into a study. So off this wall, we have a very simple rack i mean you can use this to store away your books because the, as you can see the previous owner is a very avid reader so there is going to be an entire library for you right here as soon as you walk in you can put a turntable a record player anything over here over here we also have a workstation overlooking the same balcony that we saw earlier and it's cleverly located because you know there's going to be a lot of natural light flowing in and flooding your work desk checking out the rest of the study we have a cool den Seating capacity of 6, nice table in the middle and a nice rug as well at my feet. Last screen television right here. You can entertain quite a bit of friends over here. Have some good nights playing the guitar or you know jamming with your friends in general. And on this wall to my right is a lot of artwork because the previous owner is also an art collector. Now these pieces I should emphasize are not included in the price of the house but if you're interested in any one of those I'm sure the owner would be happy to oblige. Now, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the place. Nice study room, me thinks. Now, let's check out the master bedroom. Master bedroom. What can I say? Feel silly calling it a bedroom. 
<laughs> it's basically the size of a football field. Most of the bedrooms that you get today, in, commercially, in a place like Mumbai, are less than third the size of this place. It's absolutely massive. The theme of the furniture is the same as that in the rest of the place, which is antique. All of this is solid teak that is rare to find these days. Rest of the master bedroom, a lounge chair right there, right next to another balcony. Let's check it out. Now this balcony shares the same view as the wraparound balcony that we saw earlier, which is a front-facing view. Now it may not be the largest of balconies, but the thing is it's cleverly designed. You're on the second floor, so naturally, sometimes you might be bothered by some road noise, but you have this lush green tree right ahead of you, so you're insulated from all that noise. Let's check out the master bathroom. Pretty good for a master bathroom. You've got your bathtub right there, your toilet right there, and a large vanity area with lots of storage. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, that's two of the four bedrooms. Let's check out the remaining two. Follow me. I like the long straight and the narrow hallway. It's pretty nice. We've got a lot of art on either walls because like I said, the owner is a connoisseur of art. Let's check out bedroom number three, shall we? Bedroom number three. It's a decent sized bedroom, as you can see. We have some shelves here where the previous owner has put some vintage crockery. We have an array of closet space. We've got some chest of drawers, some wardrobes right here, a big vanity mirror right there. I like the effect that is created by cabinets on either side of the entrance. It's a cool touch. We've got lighting above the cabinets as well. This is the ensuite bathroom. It's a good medium sized bathroom toilet off that corner, a vanity counter over here with an extra large mirror, lots of under cabinets. Over here we have a glass shower compartment as well and it's nice, it's functional. Some more art on this wall. We have a drying area in that corner of the room. some washing machines, maybe dryers out there, do your laundry. Nice. Let's check out the last bedroom now. Back to the long and narrow hallway. Antique figurines. Takes me back, reminds me of the last video that I shot in Donna Paula. Let's check out bedroom number four. Last but not the least, bedroom number four, ladies and gentlemen. Similar theme as the rest of the bedrooms. It's a decently sized one. Lots of storage space. You have a closet over there, another one over there. Chest of drawers right there. There's another bathroom, of course, which we'll be checking out now. This is a good bedroom, perfect for use as a guest room. Bathroom is pretty nice as well. It's small and functional. You have a lavatory there, sink there, and a shower cabinet over there. So that's all four of the bedrooms. Now let's go ahead and check out the kitchen, which is at the end of the narrow and long hallway. If you thought the master bedroom was big, hold that thought till you see this kitchen. This kitchen comes with a lobby, which is what you're looking at right now. This is the space for a refrigerator, we have a washing area right here, some storage over there, right across the window. And now, this is where the rest of the kitchen lives. This part of the kitchen is absolutely humongous, as you can quite tell. 
I should mention the kitchen is currently going some remodeling, but once it's fully done up, this is gonna make for a spectacular kitchen because the window after this corner of the kitchen is just absolutely massive. It lets in absolutely loads, loads of natural light. So imagine cooking breakfast in the morning, flipping your pancakes and you know, you can hear the birds chirping through that window and natural light coming in. Such a perfect mornings. Now that the kitchen is done, let's go check out the servant quarters. Through this gallery, you can also see the twin parking garages that come with the house. Well, I hope you liked my tour of this 2800 square feet massive 4BHK Arts Deco apartment in Cuff Parade. If you're interested in making an offer, please feel free to reach out to us using the media provided in the description below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to tell us what you feel like the property, the comment section is there for you. This is your host Ayush signing off and I'll see you in the next one.